If you could walk on the water If you could hop scotch on the trees If you could fly the world in an hour It would be Hi you will notice that I'm going to introduce myself and where I am a little differently because I was schooled. My name is Caroline Butoko and I am with the RISE Global Winners, the cohort of 2022 at the Merry Hill High School. I said Merry Hill the first time. And your RISE what? Allow me to tell you where we were and you must watch our first video. We were talking about how these two amazing girls are two of 100 Global RISE winners. Their cohort is 2022 and applications for 2023 are ongoing. They had just told me that they had finished their, the section that now made them think what's gonna happen next. And, and what happens is once they have submitted their paperwork and try to rally everybody to support them in this, they went through a submission where the applicants introduce themselves through videos. You guys create an individual project and then you demonstrate your talents and the benefit of that project. And then there's the interview. Mm -hmm. And then the interview is done and you give it your best. It's on Zoom. And you said your teachers were really, really good at supporting you, some teachers, and Akili Dada, who I'm going to find and talk to about this. And then two months go by. Two months. How did you find out? Um, I had stabbed my toe and it was, okay, it was during our two-week holiday. And I, Such was COVID. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I was really immersed in reading. So I was not on technology. I was just Namka. I read, I sleep like that and assisting around the house. So that day I just, I said to my mom, today I feel like going online. And out of, like, I just took my phone and How I'm long going online. Been online. For a week and a half, because oh, we were like, God. it was like half a week, and then now we come back to school. Yes. So I had not been online, I was just reading. And then now I'm like, ah, I need to go online. So that day, my, my mom left with my young, younger sister. They went to Kwasha Jiko, yeah, as they get some sunlight. Mm -hmm. Then, okay, I was in the house and I was just, I started no Kwasha Wi Fi. Now I'm logging into my accounts, and then. Um, I'm looking for an, an, a feel-good song because today I have decided... Oh, so you're looking for music? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I'm like, today I have decided to be online. Let me... Just one song. Then as I'm walking and I was limping because I had an injured leg, then I see on top, Rise Global, congratulations. Then I'm like, wait. Then now I read the whole email uh -huh. and I couldn't believe it. So I, was, I wanted to scream, but there was no in the house. Who was I telling? <laughs> Then no, it hit me that my mom is outside. So I just put You're on hobbled. shoes. Yeah. <laughs> I limped all the way to my mom and she was she was seated enjoying the sun and I'm like, Mom, mom, rise imekuja, Then she stood up and she came and she's hugging me and I'm there and my foot is really killing me. But but I, I was so excited. Oh wow. Yeah. Uh, does mom now get what it means for you, your future, your career prospects? Does she get it? Yeah. Or is she still a bit in shock? Yeah, she's in shock. She's processing. She's it. processing. Very good. Uh -huh. And you? Um, I got the email uh, when I was in the house in my bedroom. I was watching TikTok. So I was on my back and I'm like, what's I ever doubted TikTok? you at 14 years old, huh? <laughs> I was watching TikTok and um, so I was scrolling, scrolling TikTok and um, the pop-up from Gmail came. I was like, Rise Global Winner. And then I was like, Rise Global Winner team. I was like, congratulations. I didn't even finish. You knew. <laughs> I was like, I won. Mimi. A Mimi. And I was like, oh, that, I just, you know what? And I was in shock. So I was like, I got up, processed, two seconds. I was out of my bedroom door, outside, and I was screaming. I was very, I was screaming a lot. Uh -huh. And I was like, what's wrong? What's going on? I was like, I have to call mom. I have to call mom. So like, so my, my, my house thinks I'm sick or something. My, my siblings are just like, they're trying to pull my hand to see the phone. I'm like, no, no, I have to call. <laughs> I have to call mom. I have to call dad. I'm calling mom, calling mom. She's not picking up. I'm trying to call. I'm trying to call her again. She's not picking up. So I call my dad. 
and I was like, he was super excited and I was like, congratulations, Edith, I knew you'd make it, forward me the email. And then I cut out the email. Uh-huh. And he can forward your email. Mm-hmm. Then now my mom, I tried calling her again. I told my dad that I couldn't reach my mom. Mm-hmm. So um, when I think he called her, uh-huh. then she picked up my call now. So when she picked up the call, I was like, hello, mom, guess what? It's like, what? Guess what? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm very busy right now. Mm-hmm. Guess what? Guess what? I'm like, I results the rise in and I'm I'm a winner. I'm a winner. And she's like, oh, congratulations. And then she got it. She like, oh, does she not get it? And she, and she, did, did you guys have us? And she was even more excited for the results than I was because she kept on asking like, the results the your oh, application. She kept asking you. Yeah. And it's two months of waiting. Yeah. Like, Whoa, you, the, resu- the results for this your application uh, have they come have out? They come? Uh, like what's going on? Because oh. you know I had done a lot and she was especially when I was at home. Mm-hmm. I had really done a lot and she had seen like a lot of the effort, effort I had yeah. put in and she was like rooting for me so much. So when uh, she came home, I was very like this. I was very like you. You were the one who wanted this for me the most, and you're very. Calm. Passive. Yes. A very passive You're about like, congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. hug up for me. Uh. So I called my classmates. Some of, it, some of them already knew. I don't know from where. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, I think... Okay. I don't even know how, but so when my mom arrived in the evening, mm-hmm. she came even crying and she's like, oh my God, Edith, you boy. And she was hugging me. I was like, mom, I called you. You seemed so passive. And she's like, I was in a meeting. And I even, and she hung up on me. Mm-hmm. And she's like, I even started crying. In the meeting? <laughs> in the meeting. Okay. And so I was like, I was a very exciting moment. So here's the thing I consistently tell parents. I hope you are watching. This is what RISE commits to. RISE commits to a residential summit, and you told me you'll be going next year. Yeah. Where it's fully funded, it's three weeks, a residential summit with other members of the RISE Global Winner Cohort. So you'll get to win the other, meet the other 98, okay? Uh, a global uh, winner network, obviously, you need access to some of those people because they have different ways of solving the problems you're trying to save for the world. Uh, you get ca- counseling and career support. You get advice and support for applying to university. Now, this one I asked you the minute I walked in. Uh-huh. Where do we want to go to uni? Uh, my interests lie in the Princeton University. In Princeton, and you are? University of Oxford. Oxford, all right. Uh, when you told Rise, these are your dreams, uh, did you guys start doing this part? Muli, have you started applying or, and? Uh, not to Princeton, mm-hmm. but to other schools that they gave us. They gave you, yeah. fantastic. Uh, so they, they're living up to their promises. Yes. Wow, wow, because that one caught my eye. And then obviously programming, you get access to specialized programs. You told me you got, you already been on yeah, on some or a course from the University of Chicago that was only an addition because uh-huh. before that uh-huh. when you finally get the email that uh-huh. you're advised finalist uh-huh. they send you they you send your form and you're supposed to fill in like what you're interested in oh, yes. yeah so they can match it yeah so like uh, there was one from uh, MIT there was a program from Massachusetts Institute of Technology mm-hmm. on climate change you can tell the age difference here she thinks she needs to tell me what MIT is but sour too I stand corrected. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and then uh, there was also one for artificial intelligence. Oh, yeah. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Go, 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 go. The future of work. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Artificial intelligence. Uh-huh. And um, there was Leo, those one for leadership program. Mm-hmm. And um, a youth, a youth program. Yeah, a youth program. program. A youth program, yeah. So are you feeling and you choose which one you like most? All right. Yeah, so you choose out of the... You list them according to which one do you prefer most. You, you prefer. Yeah, so because my project was even about climate. And yes. So I chose the, the my first option was uh, climate from MIT, MIT. And the second one was artificial intelligence, then the leadership program. Wow. And then now the youth program. So I got selected. And you? What did you apply for? Philosopher? Uh, I applied for leadership uh-huh. first, uh-huh. Uh, as well as climate change. Definitely. Yeah. It's, it's just that I know it's a word, um, and actually, you know, a um, couple of um, days ago, and I've got to be cognizant about when this video goes up, the world met in Cairo. And sometimes I look at these talk shops, because that's what I call them, okay? And I am not sure whether 
other than raising awareness, there's nothing wrong with raising the awareness. The question is the action. It's the action. And I still believe uh, we can no longer use the term um, climate change. Climate has changed. It has happened. Um, but I still believe you're the generation that will do what would need to be done to save the only planet we can live on. Unless, you know, Mr. Elon Musk decides we can go to Mars. And, and you do know that's a one-way trip. Yeah. Yeah, you can't, you're never coming back. Um, so you applied leadership, climate change, what else? Youth program. The youth program. Yes. Biggest population in the world. Um, in Africa, we have the youngest population. Most of the world is aging. Um, and it's not just about having that as a great resource as a continent, but the fact that um, we'll probably have to serve the rest of the world. You know? Yes. So you, 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 you extrapolate yourself four years into graduation. So don't pick anything thinking about it now. You notice I got very excited about AI. Mm -hmm. AI is real. Yeah. It's real. It is the future. It's how we will work. It's how medicine will work. It's how law will work. I mean, sometimes I don't like to talk about the future of work because I can scare people. I don't know how to tell somebody that you might be studying law today, but I will be able to get onto a database and find the case I need. I don't have to read it up. I will find the ruling on it and if I put certain keywords into a database, chances are it will tell me what it is I need to be looking for. So the question is what becomes of that? So future of work, think about the world into four years after you graduate and five years. So yours needs to be a 10 year plan that rises with you all the way. But I don't want to spoil it for everybody. I think what I am interested in hearing from you, and this is, really important for me. Considering the process you've gone through and your pioneers, your rise pioneers in Kenya, you're the rise pioneers here at Mary Hill. For the parent that's listening to this and you know she's put on her headphones and she's you know having her hair done, whatever it is, or she's driving and she's like, let me see who Caroline is talking to. Why is this, without a doubt, one of the best things a young person can do? The application process and to be a winner. And I want to start with you. This is where you philosophize. Mm -hmm. um, to the parent listening, I would like to say and to that... to the teachers who will be saying Ujafanya <laughs> prep. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. um, I'd like to say that, um, especially the application process, it helps a person to develop mentally. You become open to new things and you really get to push yourself. You know, you don't have, you don't need to have someone pushing you as a young person because you want to be that change that you want to see. So you have to push yourself. And like for me, dreaming, you know, okay, people say that because you're in Africa, you're in Kenya, just think around where you are. No. Yeah, you don't need the to The world do is that. flat again. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we say the world has become a global village. So I want the youth out there and their parents to encourage their children to dream bigger than they could ever, yeah. And to see themselves, see yourself in that, doing that. Like, well, yeah, when you see, for me, when I watch National Geographic and I see people researching about climate, I see myself there. I see myself being funded by Nat National Geographic and I am just doing research yes. because it's, it's going to help the world. Yes. Yeah, so I would like them to really encourage and to be behind them. Like for my teachers, they were really there. For Miss Moridi, she didn't even ask us, what are you doing? She was always like, you need this? Here, mm. in it, have it. I like Mrs. Moridi. Well done. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, and even for my mom right now, and even before, I was like, Mom, I'm playing for this. You can do it. She was like, Never limit yourself. You can be anything you yes. want to be. And you can. Yeah. Don't limit yourself. What would you like to tell? Same question, you know. There's a school that probably has seen this and they're like, What have I done? And then there's a parent who's like, I. What would you like to say? Um, I'd like to tell the parent and the teachers who will see this, um, that your child um, is, is the next generation. Yes. And um, them applying to the RISE team will one, widen their scope and their, it will widen their scope in that they'll be able to think outside of um, what they are facing at that moment. Mm -hmm. Two, it will teach them a lot of problem solving skills and time management. Yes. 
because um, we had, when we were doing the project, we had to balance our studies and the project and meet both of the deadlines that are in both areas. You'll get to meet new people from all over the world because um, uh, during the RISE team and the especially in the finalist uh, period, uh, we met people from all over the world and you get to see different projects and you, you kind of understand that um, the world uh, is so different and our range of development is not to another region yes. or area mm -hmm. and because uh, you'll be in the same Zoom meeting with someone who built an, a robot. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I know what you mean. With yeah. someone who built a robot mm -hmm. and has been building mini robots since they were in grade six yes. and you just uh, made a simple system. Yes. So then you are putting your you're taking your child outside of the hut that is your home, home and your environment and, and your environment mm -hmm. and you're putting them into the is you're putting them in the city square where they get to see all that is around them and they're able to express themselves yeah because express their ideas and actually see the impact that they have because in a few years, not even in a few years, right now. Right now. Right now, the only people who are able to change the world are us. Yes. And I've been saying it all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, but the rest of us are great at talking. I'm sorry. But real change will come from you. The real implementation of the things that must be done. Are from us. Yes. We are the future of today. Yes. We are the future you're of today. today. You're today, you're tomorrow, and tomorrow. you're the day after. And um, what... What the youth and the teenagers need right now is to feel their influence and their impact in society. Because a lot of uh, our teenagers, especially here in Kenya, they do not know uh, the range and the impact that they can, they have, can have in the society. Because um, you have so many opportunities. Look at uh, technology right now. You have access to so much and you can do so much. So by your child, uh, applying to rise, um, you're actually proving it to them in their own minds that they are capable. That they're capable. Cut. Apply. Thank you. Cause you're super